So now it is your girls recorded. Let's go ahead and let's start up this next damn reaction, shall we? Tommy NFG, shout outs to you, gang. The most overrated places. So without further ado, y'all, let's get into this next video, y'all. Let's do it. According to statistics, at least 1.3 billion people have had a vacation since last year. Oh, into all types of wonderful places around the world and experiencing things they never normally would. But I hate happiness, so we're gonna talk about how all these places are absolutely up, trash. And of course, disclaimer, just because I'm right and you're wrong doesn't mean it should take away from your experience, you know? And we're starting off with probably the holy grail of places being overrated. Los Angeles. Bro, I don't know if Damn. it was just me, but when I was younger, LA in Hollywood was depicted like heaven on earth like a place you wouldn't ever want to leave I felt like as soon as I would touch down I would be escorted in the city with red carpet rolled out for me I would walk the streets and casually see Will Smith and Johnny Depp then have a nice conversation with them and if you're on the west coast or live in Cali you're probably thinking why anyone would think LA is like this because you visited it multiple times from when you were younger to older but coming from someone who lives about 30 minutes from um Baltimore I mean anything as a kid not too much gang we're close tommy we we are we close within region i didn't know that la is overrated it, I, not california as a state but just la la is overrated because of how expensive it is there is a very unrealistic I'll see you later, little bro. Behave yourself and be on your best behavior. I will, I will say it is that LA is too damn expensive. And I am trying to get that to my little sister who is trying. You know, she's not little. But my, my, young, my, my sister, who has never been to LA before, never experienced that level of being in LAX, airports, all of that stuff. It, that is a different beast. You don't go to, first of all, you don't go to LA with no money. First and foremost, LA is expensive. You're going to be spending money on the moment it is you decide you're going to go to LA. And for me, I'm on the opposite side of the coast. So it is about maybe uh, six, seven hours, maybe even eight to, to get over to the West Coast. It takes very, it's a very long time for me to get over there from being on, on, on the opposite side of the coast. Then on top of that too, gas prices is very expensive. You know what's a problem where it is in LA that they accept EBT in fast food restaurants. When I seen that, I'm like, oh nah, that if you could if you could go to like a Hardee's or like a Wendy's or a Burger King and you could pay with an EBT card, this is how you know this is a problem. That's a problem right there. It's expensive. It's way too expensive. It is way too expensive to live in LA. Now, don't get it fucked up. The West Coast is fire. I, I, all my people, it is that is from the West Coast. I have a love and appreciation for y'all because y'all rep y'all set. Y'all rep y'all set hard. I'd even say harder than the East Coast, to be honest with you. It is a different level of a culture, and it's something it is that nobody would understand unless it is you are from LA. You know what I mean? I know a lot of LA people, and I have a lot of respect for them, and I'm always going to. But if you go to if you go to the West Coast thinking it is you could be on that rah rah shit, or if you're thinking it is you're gonna go to L.A. to oh it's the place where it is you become famous and stuff like that, you're gonna end up like a lot of these people. It is who are homeless. L.A. has a very bad homeless problem, and the homeless problem is not just L.A. locals. It is the people it is who move to L.A. thinking it is they're gonna make it. And realize that how unrealistic that is, especially in a time like this now. It is extremely unrealistic. So that like you you can't do that. West Coast for life. I was born in the, the Bay Area and raised there for the first few, few years of my life. Hey, okay. Yeah, the West Coast is cool, but like in LA, you just gotta be careful. You gotta know what places in LA to be at. It's the same thing with like anywhere else to, in in particular, you know? So 
I'm sure that there's going to be other cities there mentioned, but I'll talk about that once it is that we get to those points. I thought it was going to be an escape from nothing going on where I live. And that's what most people around the world still have imagined in their mind when they envision how visiting it would be like. I went there about three times in my lifetime, recently four months ago, and my view on it will never change. The first thing you notice off rip when walking in the LA streets is the putrid smell of the sidewalk. Like, I don't know how often they clean them. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They definitely don't. But imagine walking miles right after smelling the community dumpster walk. I genuinely think if you live there, you need to walk around with an oxygen tank just to not get poisoned. Honestly, I don't even understand how people still live in LA in 2024. Like we all know how much it costs to live in California, but imagine the epicenter of it. You're paying two times the price of a state that's already four times too expensive. There is no other state where a hundred thousand dollar a year salary is gonna still make you homeless. Which which is why you'll see a solid 10 homeless people per store just wandering the streets. The average cost for a one bedroom apartment is $2,691 there. Exactly. I couldn't imagine getting paid a two- My lungs are severely evolved at this point. Hey, you know, but the thing, here's my thing. If you're in like the city, like the city of, of LA, most of the time it is people are not there. They're living on the outskirts of LA and they travel from the outskirts into LA itself, if need be. The problem is traffic. The pro you need to av avoid traffic because you're gonna be sitting there for a minute. I mean, <laughs> LA traffic is is a beast. Yeah, I, out of all of the traffic cities I've ever been in, is I will say Atlanta and LA is the worst traffic you want to get stuck in. I would even say LA is number one because you will they, you could literally be stuck in traffic for an hour. And not have moved anywhere. And God forbid if like you gotta go use the bathroom, like you gotta pee really bad or you got a boo-boo. Yeah, yeah, you might you might as well have one of those travel portable ones on you, gang, because you ain't moving. <laughs> it's bad. It is it's really bad. Two times what every other state pays than still being broke. The homeless people are better off living in the African safari than living in LA. At least they'll be able to hunt for their food or something. Honestly, I can <laughs> yeah. understand why all the degenerate content creators and streamers come from LA because they have to act like that to survive. If they're yes. not clout chasing and collabing with the newest, hottest person, then they're done for. Just as fast as LA swallows them, it's gonna spit them out. If they're $1 off in rent, they get sent to the inferno of LA. Skid Row. I just imagine walking Ooh. down Skid Rows like when you start a call of duty zone oh. i'm gonna be running around with juggernaut and double tap just to make sure berlin's ball was by skid row it, it was not like it's not like it was close it wasn't right there but it was close enough it, it, it's, it's close enough that theater it is that the, that they have there it, it's actually pretty close to like where skid row is we was very stinking close to it skid row mm, that's a beast it is a beast i remember me and mom we was walking to like uh to whole foods and the amount, I mean, the homeless people was laying on the sidewalk, like not, not even just anything underneath it, just pure pavement. And then like a jacket over, over their, their head, broad daylight and the feet black as hell, man. It's like, damn, damn, not even a bench, not even like a little like ledge or something like, nope. The purest, like, I mean, like laying down in the middle of this, nothing underneath. That, that that's how bad the problem is with LA. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it is like I'm gonna I'm 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 very much gonna, gonna say this. I I don't think these are LA locals, man. I feel like these are people that move to LA and think uh, have unrealistic expectations of moving to LA, and then unfortunately that's that's what ends up being a problem because every state when it comes down to getting uh, assistance has different rules and. And I don't think there's a lot of times that it comes down to like food stamps and like Section Eight and stuff. I don't think it's a, an equal share plane versus like being in another state. So a lot of times, people like the people are probably not getting accepted for these these levels of help. So that we got to be really realistic here. Like LA is not even if I had money on like that, I wouldn't. I still wouldn't live in LA. That's how much I'm like. Yeah, I'm cool. 
Dross or Rock. Like, how do you even live in LA knowing you can go from sunny, palmy downtown that's all fun and dreamy, then have a chance to drive down Skid Row and get lunged at by a local crack? And it's crazy to me that in California, it's the most taxed state ever, and there's still homeless people like that on the streets. Next, we got Times Square in New York City. I Not too fucking much on my state. I was afraid that this was gonna happen. I was afraid that this is gonna happen. Not too much of my state, okay? I am a born and raised New Yorker, okay? Born and raised. And I'm always gonna rep my set, just like how it is somebody from the West Coast is gonna rep their set. Here's my issue it is that I feel people have when it comes down to New York. First things first, if you come from a, a very respectful state where it's just like, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, this is in this, blah, blah, blah. You come to New York, we don't have that energy. We have that energy because there's so much stuff that happens in New York City. You have people trying to solicit to you all the fucking time. People that's trying to scam you, trying to like steal your shit. I've even seen monks out there trying to hustle. You know, we've seen all different types of stuff within the street. New York, New York City is not a place to where it is that you want to be doing all that. Get, it's, it's get to your destination without having to deal with the bullshit. That is what we are literally trained to do, okay? And especially with New York traffic. You, a motherfucker will beep at you, like you trying to get into the next lane, and you got your blinker on, I promise you the person that's in that next lane is going to speed up to make sure it is that you do not get in that space. When I came out here, especially in Virginia, where I seen people actually allow you space, I was in the car eh, confused, because I'm like, I ain't never seen that before. They, they do that. They do that. But the problem is, y'all go to New York City and think all of New York is like that. Y'all have to get outside of New York City and see what else it is there. I mean, it ain't much, but you gotta see what other stuff it is, is, is there. Y'all go into these main touristy spots. Real New Yorkers do not fucking go to Times Square. We don't. We don't go to Times Square, the Empire State Building, the Freedom Tower, the Statue of Liberty, we see that shit every day. There ain't no point of us going there. That's where, that's where y'all got shit twisted. That's, where, that's why it is y'all be going to these touristy areas. I hate Times Square. I'm a New Yorker and I'm gonna tell you I hate Times Square. You gotta be assertive. Exactly. You gotta be assertive in New York. We'll that's put it. all of New York, but I never know when I gotta go there. And don't wanna get some from the Bronx mad to gun me down. It's crazy how these two places are the most visited in the US from people around the world, only for them to realize when you're in Times Square, you're getting squished like a sardine trying to move around. Like I genuinely couldn't imagine you're a foreigner from another country, you do not speak English, and you have to try to navigate Times Square. You look at the left and see a bunch of goofy mascots fighting over who gets to take a pic with the tourists. You look at the right and see a homeless dude who crawled out the gutter. And I know for a fact, they get to the Statue of Liberty only to realize that damn it really is just a green statue i don't understand the people around the world that are foaming at the mouth just to see it. like statue of liberty ain't even top 10 monuments in my mind even when i was young. he not he not wrong he not wrong you know like listen the, the statue this the whole thing of ellis island and the statue of liberty even though that first design is not the original design of the statue of liberty it was supposed to be a black woman but then that got changed. We was gifted that by the French because of ending a slavery. The original design no looks nothing like what it is that we have as of right now. That is a, a historical fact. But the reason to why it is that they did that is because they, they, they wanted it within to like the 60s and the 70s. There was a push for foreigners to come into New York because it was giving out certain levels of um, rights and like... Um, certain like these stipends and everything like that for foreigners to come into the country. That is how it is that my parents came in. My parents was not born in the U.S. They were foreigners that was born in Barbados. And that's when it is that they came to, to the U.S. You know, they give that opportunity as a symbolism of like, okay, we're welcoming of these amount of people, even though it is we've had African-American people building this country for 400 something years of slavery. <laughs> But I'm not gonna get into that. That's too much. You know what I'm saying? Younger and soft for the first you know, time, you know. I did not give a single f Like, there's certain monuments I understand you being hyped about seeing. The pyramids, the yes. Taj Mahal, the yes. Colosseum. But the Statue yes. of Liberty and Eiffel Tower have got to be the lowest on my list. And 
I've told y'all the Eiffel Tower, the closer it is you get to that shit, it, that part of France stink. I mean, stink. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for talking about anybody, you know, talking about this. If you French, I apologize. But going near that Eiffel Tower, the smell is so horrendous. I am so sorry. And the craziest thing is that it wasn't even made in America. It was given by France in 1876. The people I feel bad for the most are the taxi drivers and Uber drivers that have to navigate the cities. I genuinely think if I tried to drive in Times Square, I'd have a heart attack right on the spot. I would block a dude by accident and he would smash my windows from slowing him down getting some bacon, egg, and cheese. Like there's no way you could even afford to live on that salary as an Uber driver there. If LA is the epicenter of California's expensiveness, then Manhattan is brother i would burst to tears looking at my landlord as he says the rent is 4k a month to live in a box with a bucket as the toilet but people will still Damn. choose and full sprint to live there just to try to live the dream life they used to see on tv the next place we got is japan there's some neck bearded Whoa. discord mod that probably broke his computer just at me mentioning japan now let's not tell all lies here okay japan has a lot of amazing things going for it for one prostitution is legal there. maybe that's why so many Tommy, of all of the things to say, did you, you we're just gonna go with this. <sighs> Japan got overcrowded. It, it it is slightly overcrowded, yes, but nothing. And I and I oh I hate to say this, nothing is more overcrowded than China. Than China. India, you getting close? <laughs> Listen, I'm going based off of what it is. My father's told me. My father has traveled quite a bit, quite a bit. You know, you you understand. There is a lot of people in China. There's a lot of people in India. Those are the main two countries that is that I can think of that has a just it's overpopulated with people at this rate. However, with Japan, it is slightly overcrowded, yes. But I still need to go. I still need to visit Japan. I'm sorry. I still need I still need to visit Japan. I I'm I'm sorry. Many people want to visit Japan. It's all kind of making sense. And shit, I still haven't even visited it yet. It's definitely something I'm gonna do. But the glaze for Japan is so insane. Like any little invention that comes out of the country is like the new iPhone to people. Japan could make water, produce it the same exact way America does it, and people are gonna glaze it just because it's Japanese water or some. Shit. I literally saw someone using a ketchup and mustard packet that makes a design on a hot dog, and people were going, "Wow." Japan really is living in 2050. I need that. I haven't experienced that before. They have ketchup mu mustard packets in one? Hey, listen, sign me up, bro. Japan got some fire stuff. I'm Listen, us within the gang, we're trying to make this as a thing for 2025 of us to go to Japan. Especially after it is that I graduate in December. <laughs> Once I graduate college in December, best believe you may see me out there. Now, as for now, in India has the most... It's the most populated co country that I can believe. I can believe that. I, I can. I can. I can believe that. I can believe that. <laughs> Americans could never understand some high tech like this. Are you really that useless that you can't simply put some sauce on some food? Like so many people will see all this new shiny tech and want to move to Japan so bad. Meanwhile, I genuinely think none of them would even survive a week there. Visiting Japan and enjoying all the commodities is one thing, but living there is a complete other thing. I've heard so many stories of the Japan work life and how you're basically an office slave for life. If you think yeah. the 40 hour work week is a lot, then don't even try. You're gonna have to double them numbers or nothing in Japan. Maybe even triple them. You might have to pull the bra numbers. Workers are so exhausted there that people just pass out on the subway like it's a normal occurrence to see. It is a normal occurrence. In Japan, this is actually considered people being hardworking. If you see somebody fall asleep like in the trains, or even at their desk, it's a symbolism of being of a hardworking person. This is actually this is actually actual fact. They squeeze out all the life force from them like a juicing machine, then print another one to keep it going. I guess it can't be no different than the five homeless men sleeping you'll see in a New York subway, though. Japan no, actually requires, different. yes, requires its citizens to take a vacation every year. Maybe Japan actually is living in the future. Hey, Biden or Trump, whoever wins next, y'all better make this a law. I don't know why you would even want to work this much. Japanese people gotta have some type of brain chip that boosts your work ethic. And the government of your entire country is telling you to stop and take a free break every year and you don't want to do it and for the ladies that want to live there ooh so bad just make sure to get the barbie x hello kitty pepper spray ready the amount of freaky dudes and creeps in japan yeah. needs to be studied like yeah. how did they all concentrate and gather in japan it makes no sense now i, 
I've actually heard this. There, there's a couple of um, IRL streamers it is that I watch, and the amount of women it is, unfortunately, that gets harassed on live in these countries is, is, is bad. It, it's, it's really bad. I've seen a couple of those, and I'm like, eh, this is, you know, as a woman, even, even out here in the U.S., sometimes it's, you got to carry that thing on you. You just never know. You you just never know. And a lot of times it is they don't realize that they're getting caught on camera and stuff. Or they'll try to, like, take the phone away to where it is. That they, it's, it's just some janky shit. Obviously, it's not all the guys there, but it's way too much of a problem there. If you buy a phone in Japan, you literally can't turn off the photo shutter sound because there's so many creepy dudes taking pics of under girls skirts. And they yes. have an entire cart in their subways just for women. This is the exact type of dudes girls be talking about in the man versus bear argument. I honestly think it's all the lolly hentai the dudes be watching there. That... That can't be good for your brain. Also, Japan's population works so much that they don't even have time to be f Like, it's a well-known thing that Japan's population is declining at the highest degree. And when you're working 12-hour shifts every day, that kind of makes sense. Hey, listen, Japan. <laughs> men no, they, they, that's the thing. Men, men are very predatory out there. They are. They will get their little phone, and then they will try to, like, do one of these underneath a girl's skirt all the other sh other shit yes that's that's actually a thing it, it like uh, uh, that was a problem that was going on out there an actual thing but the population for most asian cultures are declining as it is anyway china for instance they only have a one kid policy because of the overpopulation right what motivates them is the age of consent in japan is 14 or 16 14 might be korea yeah it, it's it's a for the age of consent is a lower number than what it is here but um, most of the time, it is like the, with the laws and everything, and especially with traditional laws in the other countries, they they're not uh, they not they not sitting there and having multiple kids, you know, they gotta work. So now they are requesting other people to come into the country, especially us. They, there is a high demand of us being required in, in especially out in Japan. I thought that they got rid of the one child policy. No, they no, 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 no. It was originally two. Originally in China, it was a two, I think it was like a two kid policy. Then they switched it to one. It, it's too overpopulated. There's way too many people in China. So that's why. Make the call and I can help you solve this population problem. It don't sound too bad of a task. <laughs> Next place we got is Paris. Paris, just like LA, was depicted like heaven on earth to me. I thought as soon as I landed in France, the French president would lead me to my own custom motorcade. The most beautiful French woman would be serving me croissants and tea. But Paris in reality is just the New York City of Europe. You walk around and the streets are full of garbage bags hanging out from two weeks ago. Why do y'all think that Remy was out in Paris in the first place? Because it's a rat's paradise. You get all the free garbage you need. If I was a rat, I would be stupid to not be living in Paris. And a lot of people visit because they see all the cafes and think it's a dream to sip coffee while looking at the Eiffel Tower. And the cafes are cool and all, but uh, America had to give Paris some good old fruit. Paris legit has fast food restaurants. Like, I thought it was all supposed to be classic French cuisine. There should be no reason there's a Popeyes in Paris. If you come from another country and have Popeyes in Paris, you're doing it all wrong, is all I'm saying. You got to come to good old America. I bet they don't even pour the whole bag of salt on their chicken. It needs to be fried in the same oil that's been sitting there for the past two weeks. Also, crime in Paris is apparently massive. Like, it's something... Duly noted making sure I don't choose FR Nace as one of my deployment locations. Yeah. <laughs> I see why Kanye and Jay-Z made niggas in Paris. You know what? I can't stand y'all you don't really hear about. For a city shown for its romance and loving, they target the f out of any tourist and try to scam them by any means. People make whole guides on YouTube of how to avoid scams when you do visit Paris. I know yeah. my dumbass would definitely get tricked by one of these. The only thing that is good about Paris is their airport and metro system. Their metro system is, is phenomenal. You know, one of the very few metro systems I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's not Japan, of course. I'm surprised they don't read that. Like, 
Back to back reads. All right. These scams. There's this one specific scam where you go to buy a train ticket and someone will come up to you to help with an official Metro uniform. Then when you buy the train ticket, it turns out it's a fake mm. train ticket given by a fake employee and they just dip the f out. What can you even do about that? No wonder people hate French people. And nowadays, Paris is known for having the worst bed bug infestation ever. Just know Damn. if you visit now, you're gonna come back with some extra friends. Maybe some extra friends down there too. I'm gonna be honest, this infestation is like the least surprising thing I've ever heard of. When you leave out trash on the streets and forget about it, uh, no shit, it's gonna happen. Anyways, we're gonna end it right there. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out. I'm always early this time. I hate to break it to you for all y'all people. It is I want to go to France. That is a very smelly city. I know some people are gonna probably gonna say about that about New York. It is what it is. But but you know. Pickpocketing is a huge thing in France and the UK. I believe it. I definitely believe it. But Tommy, shout out to you, gang. Appreciate you for the video. Shout out to y'all in the chat. And shout out to you at home. I'm curious to know what it is you think is an overrated city. Go ahead, you know, talk about it in the comments, bro. I'll catch y'all in the next video.